Hey guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to this extremely lame channel. <laughs> uh, go ahead and subscribe for me if you're any way interested in some Planet Zoo waterfalls because we do that a lot around here. I have a lot of fun with it. I told Bold just actually just a, yesterday after we finished this build that I know you guys are probably thinking this is another like large waterfall build and why don't I ever go any smaller? We're gonna try that. I really, I was telling her I want to do a little more realistic as far as stream size goes, uh, just waterfall size in general and try not to make like the next waterfall. We may even actually end up doing it on a live stream, but try not to make the next waterfall like these little mini Niagara waterfalls. It's like all of mine end up getting really, really huge and blown way out of proportion. These massive, you know, multi-million dollar um, water features. But that's why, like I said, I think next I want to try a little smaller, a little more intimate and um, try to maybe even incorporate it with, uh, with this new Simply Savannah build that I'm doing. I'm helping out with her uh, with her new, uh, kind of like new nature preserve type park she's doing. As a matter of fact, uh, the first episode of that should come out either Tuesday or later Wednesday of this week. Uh, that's what we're thinking. She just has to do the voiceover and, and, and all that. And uh, Drew and I are kind of helping her with that right now. We may even... Uh, we may even get uh, Geekism on board with it, and Zoof may be, help, uh, may be helping us. Um, but I was thinking maybe that would be a good, not only a shocker to Drew, that I make a, uh, like a small little water feature in my uh, gray wolf habitat that I'm kind of conjuring up and thinking about, uh, thinking about wanting to try. But um, I just think as far as keeping with Savannah's more um, lower budget feeling for this kind of um, this kind of reserve uh, that what I, I, th I just think it'll be a good challenge to you know obviously know that the park cannot afford one of these massive massive multi-million dollar water features um, but then still maybe try to incorporate something into the little wolf area with some kind of uh, just some kind of smaller water feature um, typically with these waterfalls I have some waterfall tutorials on the channel, you can go back and look for those. But I typically always, some people start with the rocks first. I always start with the terrain first. Like I, I don't, I don't make like, I typically don't make waterfalls just using flat out rock pieces. Um, I always like to visualize like that under bedding um, using the actual terrain tools. So personally for me, I always find that more helpful to start out with that and then always usually second I start bringing in the uh, bringing in the in-game rock work um, then we start moving to things like the uh, like the, 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 the waterfall foam essentially like the I think the game calls it the river rapids foam um, I use that as a good fake base for kind of like extending the stream and I think really that's what's gonna be kind of tough with going smaller like actually building these bigger waterfalls typically it's a little easier for me to kind of convey that the you know this really turbulent stream is going on and the water is crashing and it's making its way to the next ledge where I think when we go smaller the challenge is gonna be you can't just spam a small little creek with a I was showing off the little pizza shop I did for Savannah in the gift shop right here on the on the stream sorry about that uh, we were um, I, I just think it's tougher to convey turbulence and we really are gonna it's really gonna be tough to try to design a calming smaller more reserved type waterfall um, like I was telling bold about but nonetheless We'll give it a try. Um, with this, it's just, this is one of those things where, you know, I was actually, when I brought this stream up, I was gonna actually go into the uh, pool resort because we haven't built in that in like two weeks. Well, maybe at least like 10 days. And I was thinking, you know, let's get in and maybe try a pool. Let's try some kind of design. And I loaded it up and was flying around and I was just about to hit, you know, start streaming in OBS and I was like, eh, 
let's get a little more of a game plan going. Let me look up some concept art uh, before I really get started with this. And that way, we're not going into the stream like completely in the dark. Um, and that is kind of where I found the concept art that I tried to base this off of. Of course, this was a little more pumped up and uh, ended up being a little larger than that concept art was. But nonetheless, I was looking at concept art for resort style pools and th the piece of concept art like right there, actually you see it, a uh, good timing. I pulled it up right there on stream and that is kind of what, uh, that is what I come up with. So it turned out I was looking for pools and found this really neat looking like grizzly river rapids type deal. And um, I just think it came out really, really fun. I just, I'm, I'm, you guys know me, I'm just really into waterfalls. Um, I don't know why Drew hates them so much, uh, but nonetheless, we, uh, <laughs> we're still doing some waterfall builds over here. But, you know, uh, I was even, I even tweeted it out a couple days ago and was telling Drew and them about it. Like, with this Africa DLC, I just feel like it was so well done like it was so well presented and the rollout was so good. Um, I just think that it's weird. Like by now, what is it? August 8th, August 9th? Right now, we would really typically be in a very, very dead period. You know what I mean? Like this is just time. We're like, what are we, like a month and a half, almost two months away from when the Africa pack dropped. Normally right now, Drew and I are doing like a really salty, uh, you know, we're doing a really salty take two podcast. We're like, God, we hate the, these. Why are these, why do they always do the three months between DLCs? That's too long. It, it, the space, like the, the space and the energy and the hype just dies so quick when they do this. But this time, what I was telling Drew and them, it's like everything just feels a little different. Like they did it so well with the scenery and the new animals that it's just like it's it's held our attention for so much longer. You don't hear the like so much angst in the community as far as like when's the next DLC gonna come? What is it? This, you know, these animals, this just wasn't enough to hold me over. And this time it was just it just feels different. Like we're not sitting here clamoring for a new DLC with nothing to do. Like look at all of us, Drew, Zoof, Simply Savannah, uh, Math Lee, everybody, uh, Basic Builder, Cybris, Bold, everybody is like starting brand new projects. Like that is like brand new projects are being born kind of at the middle end of this DLC cycle. So I just think that's really, really cool that a lot of us have not went down the path of, my God, this is, you know, this this is taking so long. We need a shot in the arm. We need some kind of DLC to hold us over. Um, it's just not really felt like that this time. And maybe it has to some creators out there, but you guys know me. I get I get bored pretty quick when things aren't when things aren't rolling and and things aren't happening. But this time I'm just kind of I don't know if it's because I have so many little weird side projects going on and things we're trying and um it really helped Drew and I jump back into the swamp. Um I I don't know this time. It's just I'm not so anxious that it's like, uh, rest in peace to Steve, our little, our first little bear here. I kind of left him up there and forgot about him and didn't turn off the, uh, <laughs> didn't turn all off the requirements. And uh, he ended up kind of kicking the bucket on us. But we bring in, we bring in another Steve and he ends up, he ends up being okay. Sorry, Steve. But nonetheless, I just, uh, I just feel like we're all in a really good planet zoo space right now. I don't feel like any of us are bored. I don't really feel like any of us are forcing content. Um, even a lot of the creators are jumping onto the diorama uh, bandwagon. So that's been really fun to just watch people's creative juices keep flowing. We're not seeing any really big long swaths of 
um, you know, like our normal streamers and video makers taking off or not making videos. Um, just the community at a, as a whole is really firing on all cylinders right now. And um, everybody is just, um, you know, everybody's just with it right now. There's a really good energy. Um, you know, I'm not really getting any messages even yet. Really like, what do you think the new LD, new DLC is going to be? I got to have it before I, I even feel like touching the game anymore. Um, which I got a lot of those when they only gave us animals, you know, like with the Southeast, uh, the Southeast Asia pack. I've never gotten that many separate messages. Like we're not talking about in big group messages. We're talking about like separate individual creators messaging me being like, dude, what are you doing to keep going in this massive drought? Oh my God, I hope Frontier never does just a straight up animal pack again because I'm losing my mind and this is boring. So I'm right there with them. I know you guys are like... Nicholas Lion Rider and a couple of them did some good videos on the on the good that animal only packs bring. Um, personally, like coming from S Dan's world, I hope we never see that again. I think that was totally um, just just totally not what I'm wanting to see. Um, just totally borked that. It, it was basically reskins of animals that nobody really cared about after a week and weird selections of animals. I am uh, totally, let's just put that out there. I am not in favor of, uh, of animal only packs ever again. I just think that was borked. Um, it did not hold attention well. Um, you, you know, just you guys engaging with the videos and stuff was was pretty low and um, I, the only the only good thing that could come out of it was it forced me to start um, Lost Creek. So yeah, I am definitely not team animal only pack. So hopefully we don't hopefully we don't go down that road again. I'm sure well, there's probably a good possibility we will. But just from my standpoint, I'm hoping each time we get some kind of new scene. But anyways, guys, I'll jump on out of here. I've yapped long enough for you. I'll leave you with some cinematics of Steve and kind of the little uh, little waterfall project we had going on. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you. See you.